What's up, friends? Hope you're all well. Excited to be here with you for Braveheart. Really excited to check out this movie. This one's been on my radar long before the channel started, and so it's been a long time coming for me to check this one out. So I'm glad that it won one of the polls for the August exclusive reactions, and I hope you guys are excited to watch along with me. The only thing I really know about this one is that it stars Mel Gibson and that it's kind of an epic type movie. I believe it takes place quite a while ago in history. I don't know if it's just taking place in a certain time period or if it's actual real events that it's based off of, but I'm sure I will learn that a little bit as I watch the film. But beyond those things, I really don't know anything going into this, so I'm excited to find out who else acts in it, who directed it, and just what the story is really all about. And so I'm expecting some great things. It's a very long runtime, just about three hours long. And so I'm sure we'll get plenty of great scenes throughout that runtime. But that's about all I have to say before this one. So I'm ready to get into it. Hope you guys are as well. So let's go ahead and jump into Braveheart. Good little soundtrack there to start. Always like a movie that starts off strong with either a good shot or a good soundtrack. I shall tell you of William Wallace. Historians from England will say I am a liar, but history is written by those who have hanged heroes. It's a great line. If this whole movie takes place in kind of these green, lush hills and mountains, this is just gonna be a visual feast. McAndrews! Oh, goodness, man. We're starting out way heavy. Freaking cold-blooded man hung the entire village. <gasps> Shoot, he shouldn't have seen that. That's gonna scar him for life, no doubt. This is starting off real tense. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that that might be Mel Gibson's character when he's younger. Come on! Beat an army. Oh, it's a 50 farmers we can reach. And we do not have to beat them. Just fight them. Now, who's with me? I am. I am Wallace. Whoever came in there seems like they're pretty skilled if they took out all those people, so I don't know how these guys are going to fare fighting. I'm gonna help. I need you to stay here and look after the place for me. I can fight. You know you can fight, but it's our wits that make us men. Ooh, I like this guy, man. He's full of wisdom. And I like that, unlike some scenarios where they're just like, you can't fight, you need to stay back. He actually built his son up by saying, I know you can fight, but that's not what it's all about. Definitely a good way to handle that situation. With your father and brother gone, they'll kill us and burn the farm. It's up to us, Hamish. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Couple of fearsome warriors. Nobody stands a chance. I'm absolutely loving the cinematography of this so far. The landscape certainly helps provide plenty of good shots. And dang, I didn't even consider that shot of him looking out and just kind of being alone on the horizon and then him waking up now and looking like it's alone. Did everybody who left die? Oh no, there's some people. Oh shoot though, I don't see his dad in there. This is quite the heavy movie, man, to start out. We've already seen a bunch of bodies and then we've already had one dad die. William, come here, lad. Oh, they carried his body back. I didn't realize that. Surely he's not older than like eight or ten or something. He's seen a whole heck of a lot, more than most kids his age have seen. Surely they're showing that girl a lot because she'll be significant later in the film. Oh, that's sweet. What a kind girl. At least he's got a friend here. I'm assuming she's from the same village. I don't know how long these two will be in the movie because I'm assuming they'll age here in a little bit, but that was a pretty good moment and performance from two really young child actors. William. Whoa! I'm your uncle. I was not expecting him to be in this movie. I've seen him in a ton of stuff. What are they doing? Saying goodbye in their own way. Playing outlawed tunes. 
on outlawed pipes. It was the same for me and your daddy when our father was killed. Guess it's just part of living in that time. Your parents are always dying younger than they're supposed to. Learn to use this, and I'll teach you to use this. Love it, man. This guy's got a couple of good mentors in here. His dad seemed really great, and now it seems like this guy's gonna be real great. King of England supervised the wedding of his eldest son as bride for his son. Longshanks had chosen the daughter of his rival, the King of France. Doesn't seem like they're very into each other in that moment. If they're rivals, maybe it's just fear. Where is my son? Pardon, my lord. He asked me to come in his stead. Shall I leave, my lord? If he wants his queen to rule when I am gone, then by all means stay. I feel like I haven't watched a medieval type movie or show in quite a while. Always provides some very interesting settings and dialogue. Trouble with Scotland is that it's full of Scots. When any common girl inhabiting their lands is married, our nobles shall have sexual rights to her on the night of her wedding. Oof, man, that's some dark stuff. Jeez. Instead of killing them, you just breed out their DNA, and those that remain are just forced to see their lineage die. Hey, there he is. All grown up now, looking like a boss. The way that he's acting, I'm going to guess that that's his first time revisiting there. Oh, and that look makes me think that she's the girl who gave him the purple flower. She's all grown up as well. You dropped your rock. Test of manhood. Whoa, I didn't even realize that was Mad-Eye Moody till he just spoke. The English won't let us train with weapons, so we train with stones. Well, the test of a soldier is not in his arm. That's here. No, oh, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that's Amish because he's always punching him. All the best bro relationships are just with people who punch you out of nowhere. I like the relationship of these guys. <laughs> They're good together. Here we go, party's over. These the Londoners. I will bless this marriage by taking the bride into my bed on the first night of her union. Oh, by God, you will not! Yeah, it went about as well as I expected it to. Such a horrible decree, man. Just a bunch of sick men. If that's any indication, I feel like this is going to just end up being the Scots versus the Londoners. Would you like to come and ride with me on this fine evening? You're out of your mind. Oh, it's good Scottish weather, madam. Oh, the weather's just fine. It's hardly raining. <laughs> nice. Dude, this music's fantastic. This is great. I'm definitely going to be curious who the composer is. Send your written warning first. Oh, it wouldn't do you much good. I can't read. Oh, well, that's something we shall have to remedy, isn't it? Are you going to teach me to read then? Are you impressed yet? <laughs> no. Why should I be? Ask a is that Latin? Guess all those lessons with his uncle paid off. Well, the French and the Romans have far worse manners than I. You've been to Rome? What was it like? Rien qui approchait. Tabote. <laughs> this guy knows just what to say. William's speech level is at a thousand. Whoa, he kept the flower all those years. That's freaking awesome. What a legend. That's a big time move right there. <laughs> I love it, man. The medieval times throwing the rock on the window. You guys have been playing the same trick for hundreds of years. I'm enjoying the building of the romance so far between these two, but at the same time, in any movie that involves any sort of battle, I'm always worried when there's a romance involved that one of them's gonna die. So you want me to marry you then? Well, it's a bit sudden, but all right. Is that what you'd call a proposal? I love you. I want to marry you. There we go, we're in business. Although, if the Prima Nocta thing is still in line and they get married, then he's gonna have to give up his wife for the first night. And I don't think he's the kind that would want to do that. I will love you my whole life, you and no other. And I, you, you and no other, forever. So I wonder if they're going to just keep it a secret from everybody that they're married then because they probably wouldn't want word to spread. That makes it more likely that the Londoners would find out. Oh 
no, he caught an eye of them. I didn't realize that they'd always be stationed there. I thought they would just attend when there was a wedding. Oh my gosh, this creeps. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, that's disgusting. This fool, man. This has got to be the grossest dude in the whole country. Oh, 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 oh nice. Here we go, man. Let's see William hop into action. Dude handled all three of them like they were nothing. Be me at the grove. Right. Dude, she couldn't get away. I thought he was gonna be the one that struggled to get away, not her. All of you know full well the great pains I've always taken. What are they gonna do to her? Please do not kill her, man. When I said I feared that one of them would die, I didn't mean like this soon, if that's what they're doing. An assault on the king's soldiers is the same as an assault on the king himself. <gasps> No! Are you freaking kidding me? Kill this dude right now. Oh my gosh, dude. They really killed her that quick into the movie. Oh man, I need William to deal with this fool. Surely he's not just gonna give himself up like that. He better not. Not after he just killed his love. Please tell me he's hiding a sword in there. Oh, nice. Freaking clocked him. I knew my man wasn't going to go down easily. Okay, William. Let's go, my guy. Let's go, Hamish. Jeez. Dude, this is satisfying as heck, man. Leaving those hits in one frame without doing cuts, even though I'm sure their stunts is just so much more satisfying to watch. Y'all surrounded, fools. Whoa, they're just casting him out. He's not even killing him. Oh no, he is tying him up. Thank goodness. Oh, thank you, William, dude. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. Eye for an eye. Doesn't freaking bring her back, though. Dang, I feel bad for William. He's probably feeling so responsible because if he hadn't have gone up and talked to her, the guard wouldn't have seen and then come up himself. Oh, dang, you can't forgive him. Oh, he did. Oh, thank goodness, man. I don't think William's heart could have took it if he didn't. It's a tragic character so far, though. He's lost to almost everyone he cared about. Still got Hamish, but I feel like that's it. We don't want you Amadans thinking you can have your fun without us. Some of us are in this. But you can help yourselves. We'll have no homes left when English garrison from the castle comes through and burns us out. Love it. They're all banding together. Although I don't really know to what degree fights in the future of this movie will be. Because obviously they wouldn't, like, go to the king and fight. I'd assume that they'd just be on more of a defense type thing. So I want news. Ah, <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, I love that. Dang, you had me fooled too. What an entrance. Go back to England and tell them there that Scotland's daughters and her sons are yours no more. Burn it. Man, this is awesome. These guys are gonna start something big with that, though, I feel like. When the king hears news of what they did, he's not gonna be happy. Wallace has already killed the magistrate and taken control of the town. One day you will be a king. At least try to act like one. No love from Papa. Not much of a fairy tale marriage for this lady. <laughs> Dang, so even the people in London, in the royal family, are for Wallace. A rebellion has begun. Under whom? 
a commoner named William Wallace. I will gain English favor by condemning it and ordering it oppose some our lands in the south. Should I recognize that guy? I feel like the way the reveal of his face was done that I should. Whatever happened to his face though, something major. That can't be William Wallace. I'm prettier than this man. Insane Irish. Smart enough to get a dagger past your guards. Hey, well, if anything, he proved himself. He's definitely a cunning one. I'm the most wanted man on my island. Your island? You mean Ireland? Yeah, it's mine. You're a madman. <laughs> oh gosh, he'll fit right in. Seems like he knows what he's doing, though, especially if he's the most wanted man and he escaped. He's gotta have some mad skills to get to that point. The English are advising an army, and most of the others will not commit the battle. But word is spread, and the Highlanders are coming down on their own. Hi. Are you ready for a war? I'm freaking ready for a war. Let's go. Man, this is exciting. I thought it was just gonna be much more small scale. Their armor and swords and shields are way better. Although, just like the dad said earlier, it's not about the weapon, it's about your mind. And surely about your heart as well. And I'm sure the people fighting for William, their heart's in it a lot more. All right, lads! I'm not dying for these bastards! Let's go home! Oh gosh, man, never mind. These guys are not ready for a fight at all. We need a King Theoden speech right now to keep them in line. Oh, yo, that face paint looks sick. I'd be hyped up seeing him like that, jeez. All right, William, what you got in the speech in the hype up department? Would you be willing to train all the days for one chance to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom? Oh, heck yeah, my guy. I'm not Scottish, but throw me in there. I'm ready to fight for him. That was a freaking dope speech, man. This man's a born leader right here. I was getting some chills during that moment. Here are Scotland's terms. Lower your flags and march straight back to England. Do that and your men shall live. Do it not and every one of you will die today. Oh, my man was not ready to do any sort of dealings. He'd already made up his mind long before. <laughs> What's that gotta make you feel like as the Londoners in this situation just seeing your efforts mocked like that? Right! See? Every Scott with the horses fleeing. Our cavalry will ride them down like grass. Getting absolutely played right now. I love that this battle sequence has been so long so far and it feels like it's still gonna be long. Man, these shots are so sick. It just looks so freaking epic. Just the definition of epic. Oh my gosh, dude, this is amazing. These guys were so prepared for this fight. This is so freaking entertaining right now. This is definitely one of the coolest battle sequences I've seen, at least very recently. Just complete carnage out there right now. Ah, yes, I love it. Their plan worked flawlessly. There's almost no competition in this fight. Dude, Mel Gibson. Oh my gosh, dude. I was just gonna say though that Mel Gibson is going off in his performance right now. He's given a great bit of acting right here. He's fully invested in this role. Such a hype moment. Love the emotion right there from that scene. That's so good. I knight thee, Sir William Wallace, 
In the name of God, we declare and appoint the guardian and high protector of Scotland. Whoa, shoot. And this guy got the biggest promotion around. Holy cow. Freaking well deserved, if you ask me. May we invite you to continue your support and uphold our rightful claim. Damn the Belial time! Now is the time to declare a king. Oh man, it's already going into chaos. It's been like 30 seconds. I will invade England. It is impossible. There's a difference between us. You think the people of this country exist to provide you with position. I think your position exists to provide those people with freedom. Man, every single line out of this man's mouth is just pure gold. Dude's just been spitting pure facts the whole movie and it's hyping me up every time. Your title gives you claim to the throne of our country, but men don't follow titles. They follow courage. And if you would just lead them to freedom, they'd follow you. And so would I. Can't argue with that one bit. This guy looks like it struck a chord with him as well. It's a pretty big deal when the biggest deal around says he'll follow you. We can get you out if you leave now. I'm not about to tell my uncle I've lost him the greatest city in Northern England. Dang, they used their fire against them. Let's go. These guys just wreak havoc in any path they cross. The word, my son, is that our entire northern army is annihilated and you have done nothing. I, I have ordered conscriptions. They're assembled and ready to depart. Such an awful leader. He has nothing of significance to say every time he gets called out. Wallace has sacked York. Huh? Wallace has sacked York. Oh man, that's some pretty genius filmmaking in that they only show the part of the battle up to where he breaks down the door initially and then we learn in this letter that they took the whole city. I have declared Philip my high counselor. And tell me, what advice would you offer on the present uh, situation? <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. My man just tossed Philip out the window. Dude said advise this and just yeeted him. I shall offer a truce and buy him off. But who will go to him? Not I. Not my gentle son. I feel like it's going to be someone significant if he's deliberating about it so much. We've moved up to the true stage, though. Things are starting to happen. I am the Princess of Wales. I come as the King's servant and with his authority to discuss the King's proposals. Will you speak with a woman? <laughs> his eyes shifting around, thinking something's up. Did God make you the sucker of peaceful cities? Well, Longshank's dead far worse the last time he took a Scottish city. At Sempedicens Mendatio. Ego nunquam pronunciare Mendatio. Let's go. He didn't expect him to know Latin. Dude can clap back anybody. He's the ultimate medieval diplomat. He proposes that you withdraw your attack. In return, he grants you title, estates. A lordship and titles. Peace is made in such ways. Slaves are made in such ways. I knew he wasn't going to take it. This man's too good for that deal. He's not going to forsake his people and his beliefs for a small bribe. So he accepted our bribe? No, he did not. Then why does he stay? He waits for you at York. He says he will attack no more towns or cities if you are a man enough to come and face him. <laughs> I love it, man, taunting him. Always baiting everybody in battle. Troops from France, Irish conscripts. Even if you dispatch them today, they take weeks to assemble. I dispatched them before I set your wife. Dang, this guy is much smarter than I gave him credit for. Shoot. I thought he was just seeming to be as incapable as everybody else. You brought back the money, of course. I gave it to ease the suffering of the children of this war. <laughs> That's what happens when you send a woman. Man, it's not boding well for him, though, insulting her when she's already kind of against him. Personal escort of the princess. A message to my maîtress. Merci. I'm assuming that letter was warning him of the army that was coming. They're very lucky that they have the princess on their side so she can give him the heads up. We require every soldier you can summon, your personal escorts, even yourselves, and we need them now. Are we going to have an even bigger battle than we had earlier? I can't even imagine that. I thought the first one was as good as it was going to get. If we win, well then we'll have what none of us have ever had before, a country of our own. You're the rightful leader, and there is strength in you, I see it. Unite us! 
Ah, let's go. He was trying to build him up and appeal to his strengths, just like his dad did in the first scene. I gave him my word. I know it is hard. Being a leader is. I cannot be king. You and you alone can rule Scotland. Still not sure who that guy is. I mean, he talks to him as if he's his son, so I assume it's his dad. Is he like the current king and he's just in hiding? Big way lights. Wait. Dang, dude, we're getting right into another battle. What? This movie is not holding back at all. They're going all out with the production. Quite a lovely gathering. Send in the infantry and cavalry. The effort that would have gone into these scenes is just mind blowing. I'm very excited to find out who directed this. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> that completely backfired for him. Oh, that was incredible. I was not expecting that at all. Man, this is just everything you could ever want from a medieval battle. This is so freaking awesome, man. This is just as great as the first fight. Wait, what? They're betraying him? Who do these fools think they are? They owe their lives to them. Archers. I beg pardon, sire. Won't we hit our own troops? Yes, but we'll hit theirs as well. Gosh, dang it, dude. This just took a horrible turn, man. Things were going so well. Those freaking cowards just sold their souls for money. Bring me Wallace. Alive if possible. Dead? Just as good. Send us news of our victory. Retire. This king's definitely much better at battle than everyone else so far, so all of his moves were so unexpected. Protect the king. I love that Mel Gibson is the one actually riding the horse. That's so sick. I love the commitment. If I'm judging by his previous encounters, I would guess that he's faking it so this other guy lets his guard down. What? Oh my gosh, dude. I did not see that coming. Dude is out here killing his own people. This absolute moron. Dang, man, what a performance from Mel Gibson. Even after everything he's done, the only people he thought he could trust and rely on are betraying him. Get up! Get up! Get him out of here! Gracious. Good that this guy finally did one courageous act. Certainly doesn't make up for literally fighting against his own people, though. You feel bad now, man? A lot of this is on you for betraying. What did he think were the positives that would have come out of that decision? I must have alliance with England. In time, he will have all the power in Scotland. It's this dude that's just been feeding him nonsense the whole time. He fights for something that I've never had, and I took it from him. Well, all men betray, all lose heart. I don't want to lose heart! I want to believe as he does. Oh man, that's some great stuff. Phenomenal acting right there from that guy. <laughs> Surely he's still dreaming. Okay, he's not still dreaming. He's dead now. What a leap, man. Even after defeat, he's not stopping his mission. He warmed to our future queen. If she were to be killed, we would soon find the king of France a useful ally against the Scots. 
the right person overheard that conversation. I feel like this is going to backfire. The queen's not just going to be used as a pawn, or the princess, I should say. I received your message. There will be a new shipment of supplies, foods, and weapons. They will no, travel. Why do you help me? Because of the way you are looking at me now. She's fighting for the opportunity of love. Well, she's certainly not on the side of the king anymore. Glad she found what she's been looking for the entire movie, though. Sir William, we come to seek a meeting. Well, what's the point? You've all sworn loyalty to Longshanks. An oath to a liar is no oath at all. Every man of us is ready to swear loyalty to you. I don't trust this guy one bit. Once you're discovered as a two-face, you can't really ever be trusted again. I think if the Bruce wanted to kill you, he'd have done it already at Falkirk. We've got to try. Joining the nobles is the only hope for our people. You know what happens if we don't take that chance? What? Nothing. <laughs> nice. I was not ready for him to just say that. He's got a lot of trust for him after their previous dealings, seeing what he did to him. This is a big move that could fall back on him real quick. No! Get out of it, Robert! Oh, it wasn't him that betrayed him. It was the other guy. He had no knowledge of it. Oh. I should have known that nothing good was waiting for him here. Father! Why? Why? Dude's a freaking witch at this point. What is wrong with him? Dude's face matches his mental state, that's for sure. I want you to die. Soon enough, I'll be dead. And you'll be king. I don't want anything from you. You're not a man. You're not my father. Freaking tell him, let's go. This guy's led you astray for too long. In your heart, you always knew what had to happen here. You know what it means to hate. Now you're ready to be a king. Don't act like that was some big, profound lesson you gave him. That guy's causing all sorts of trouble this whole movie. I come to beg you to confess all and swear allegiance to the king that he might show you mercy. If I swear to him, then all that I am is dead already. Fantastic line, man. That's such good writing. <laughs> we'll die. It will be awful. Every man dies. Now every man really lives. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. This man is just a walking quote book. That may have been like my favorite line of the movie so far. For if I'm senseless or if I wail, then long shanks will have broken me. <laughs> I can't bear the thought of your torture. Maybe the last good moment of his life. I don't know, depending on what happens. You are incapable of mercy. To you, that word is as unfamiliar as love. He told me his one comfort was that he would live to know Wallace was dead. You're not strong enough to think for yourself, huh? The whole rest of the movie, you were trying to defy him? Your blood dies with you. A child who is not of your line grows in my belly. Your son will not sit long on the throne, I swear it. Oh, let's go. Go, oh, dang, I was not expecting that reveal either. This movie's got some crazy reveals in it. The Wallace line will live on. I'm happy about that. Here he comes! Oh my God, he I saw a clenched fist there. I don't know if he was holding anything. Now behold the awful prize of treason. Let's go, those are his boys. Please tell me they've got a plan to get him out of this. Stretch him! It's like a reverse hanging. That's even more terrible than a normal hanging because you don't die instantly. Rise to your knees. Kiss the royal emblem of thy cloak. You will feel no more. Oh, so that's what he was holding in his hand. That thing has traveled a lot throughout this movie. <laughs> Wreck him! Oh my gosh, dude. I've never seen something like this. This looks like an insane method of torture. Are they gonna, like, try and rip him in half? Enough! Oh man, my dude has some insane pain tolerance. He's putting up such a fight right now. I bet a lot of people would have given up after the first one. It can all end right now. Cry out. I can only imagine what they're doing to him right now. They're not really showing it. The prisoner wishes to say a word. Freedom! Oh man, I felt that. That hit me right in the heart. What a freaking moment. Oh. 
Oh, of course they're gonna show her right here to pull on my heartstrings, dang it. Holy cow, man. That's some beautiful filmmaking right there. At least he died thinking of who he loved most. I hope you've washed your ass this morning. It's about to be kissed by a king. Let's get it over with. Stop! Yes, please tell me he had a change of heart. Adopt that William mentality. You have bled with Wallace! Now bleed with me! My guy. That was a powerful moment, man. In the year of our Lord, the patriots of Scotland charged the fields of Bannockburn. They fought like warrior poets. They fought like Scotsmen and won their freedom. Let's go. Oh man, that was a fantastic ending. Man, Mel Gibson directed that too? Oh my gosh, what a legend. Randall Wallace, is that based off like an ancestor of his? Surely it's not a coincidence that his last name is the same as the main character. Dang, man, what a movie. I was just like really, really enjoying it and being entertained throughout it, but I was not expecting to be so emotionally touched by it at the end. Once it got to that last scene with him just being hung and tore tortured there it started to really hit me and then just seeing everybody fight in his memory there at the end was just so powerful that was so good i'm assuming that this is based at least loosely off real history so i wonder how like accurate it is to those events but even if it's not super accurate just the story itself is a phenomenal story i would enjoy it all the same whether it's fiction or non-fiction loved his character though william wallace just such a likable easy to get behind character and mel gibson gave a fantastic performance all the battle sequences were just so large and the scale was just mammoth to do that once in a movie is pretty incredible to do it two three times that's just on another level that's very very impressive and I don't know when this came out, but it's been, I feel like, a little while because I don't remember, like, ever seeing it in theaters or anything. So it must have been before, like, I really went to movies in the theater. So I'd guess, like, 20 years old or something like that. But yeah, great, great experience. Overall, very, very well put together, entertaining movie. So just for fun, I looked up briefly what Academy Awards it won. And it won quite a few and was nominated for even more. And it's awesome that it won Best Picture. That's really, really impressive. I was also very surprised to see that I undershot my estimate in saying it was 20 years old. It was 25 years old, which, man, that's pretty, pretty amazing what they were able to do with their tools they had at the time. And I think the lack of CGI technology at the time and how that wouldn't have really made sense for this movie anyway. And so it forced them to do more practical effects, I think definitely added to not only the realism of the scenes but just the enjoyment overall definitely felt like the places and the environments i was watching were real places in history and so credit to the filmmakers for going all out for this film and i can't remember if i've seen many mel gibson directed movies before in fact i'll look it up real quick so i just looked it up holy cow this was his first directorial debut that's unbelievable that's gonna be one of the best directorial debuts out there because usually someone doesn't win best picture for their first directed movie but even just beyond awards just an incredible achievement and such a hearty larger than life story that he took on for a first time director and so credit to him man he's a great great director definitely makes me want to see his other directed movies obviously some of them like Hacksaw Ridge have already been on my list for a little while and so this definitely motivates me to want to check those out because as this is his first one I definitely know he's very capable and I assume he's probably even improved on some elements of his filmmaking and so I'm excited to check out the rest of his filmography and since this is about 
the Scottish, I wonder how they received this movie because it feels like a lot of it is kind of like a love letter to that people and that heritage. And so I would think that it would be received well, but I don't know if any of you are watching and are Scottish, let me know. That'd be awesome to hear your perspective. But I'm so glad I got to check this one out. Just an awesome experience from start to finish. Loved the visual treat that it was in so many scenes, even in the non-battle sequences. It was just really, really well shot, and I was always enjoying what I was seeing. And so I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me, whether you were re-watching it or if you were watching it along for the first time. That'd be awesome as well. But I appreciate your guys' support, having a blast watching some of these great movies with you all, and look forward to many more great experiences and watches with you all and so until the next one i'll see you all later peace